Today I'm turning this IKEA kitchen cabinet into this. So this is actually a wall cabinet for the kitchen from IKEA. We just renovated my daughter's room and she wanted a dresser and we had this so I figured why not make a dresser for her. This one is called Method and it's around 30 bucks. So the basic idea is to cover up the sides and the top with some MDF and that will also frame the drawers that I'm going to put in. And of course I'm just going to use IKEA's drawers since they're made to fit the cabinet. But on the drawer front I'll be using the X-Carve to create a harlequin pattern. Let's start by cutting up some MDF. So because I'm a complete idiot, I rounded over all the edges of the MDF and that's going to create a weird gap between the top piece and the side piece. But success is a poor teacher, right? So now it's just onto the drawers. So right now the drawer fronts are just plain and pretty boring. So I'm going to use the X-Carve to add the pattern to the drawers. IKEA have all their sizes posted online, so I just drew up a square equal to this drawer front in Fusion 360 and I created a harlequin pattern. Then I could export that pattern as an SVG file and import it into Invendables Easel. Now these drawer fronts are almost 800 millimeters long and that means that it's a bit too big for the X-Carve, which means I have to do some tiling, which I've never done before, so I don't know how this will go. The tiling function simply gives you the measurements for where the tiles are going to start and end. So I'll just mark up both the start and the end for both the tiles. Once the first tile is carved, I can move my workpiece and align the second mark with my starting position and it should work perfectly. Theoretically, I, like I've said, I've never done this before. I have set the cut depth to around 1.3 millimeters and I'm using a 1 8 inch ball nose bit. Now this bit is actually from Invendables and with Easel Pro you can easily add bits. The ball nose bit however doesn't exist in Easel as of now and that's because it can't generate the path but you still can use the bit. So what I'll do instead is that I'm going to add a down cut spiral bit with the same size. So I think I'm ready to carve now so let's just do it. actually looks good. I did screw up a little in the middle between the tiles but that's on me for being an idiot but for the next one uh, I think I can make it better. Now all that I have to do is just repeat the process three more times and the drawers will be done. Now I'm going to paint everything and I'm going to use a paint sprayer. And that might seem like an expensive option, but it actually isn't. The paint sprayer is about $50. And all you need, except for the paint sprayer, is a compressor and some skills, which I don't have. But the more I use it, the better results I'm getting. Before I paint, I like to make sure that everything is properly cleaned. And since the drawer fronts already had a coat of paint, I gave them a light sand down just to make sure the primer will stick. And I'm going to start with this primer from Zinzer uh, that is shellac based. So there are different primers and this one is perfect to use on laminated surfaces such as the drawer fronts from IKEA. And since it's good for the laminated surfaces it's going to work great with the MDF as well. And then I can go ahead and paint the drawer fronts and all of the MDF panels.
All right, so it's time to attach the legs, but unfortunately, since this is a wall cabinet, it doesn't have threaded inserts. So what I'm going to do instead is just drill a hole, put this through the hole and add a knot on the inside of the cabinet. Alright, so the next step is just putting everything together and that should be pretty easy. But I'm going to start with the sides and the top piece. And I have the cabinet lying down here, so I'm just going to put the side pieces and align it like this. I'll add some double-sided tape on the inside, put it there and I can add some screws from the inside of the cabinet to hold it in place. So one thing we didn't do was we didn't paint the, the inside of the MDF. And unfortunately, that's going to be visible when the drawers are opened, but we don't have any more time to, to do that. So we'll just keep it like this for now and we can come back and paint the inside later on. So now that this is done, it's all about adding the, the drawers and I'm going to add some pulls to the drawer fronts, of course, and then we can just install everything. All right, so there we have it. I think it turned out really good. I'm really proud and my daughter is really happy about it. Yeah, we have to go back and paint the insides of the MDF pieces, but we'll do that later since it's not a problem. But yeah, it's great storage and what a fun project to do from an IKEA cabinet. And don't forget to subscribe if you like this project and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.